Okay, so the nuts and bolts of the observer is to realize that this is an object. It's actually a mobile phone. I'm not going to do the mug today. And uh, so you can just either nod, nod yes if you understand, or go no if you don't understand. Uh, so I'm observing this phone. And it's clear to me that I am not the mobile phone. I am the observer of the mobile phone. Is everyone with me? Okay, good. Okay, so when you notice this, if there's an object and there's observing of it, it's, and especially now this is what I call a meaningless object. It's not an important or a special object. It's kind of a neutral object. And it's very, very clear with things which are not imbued with meaning that there's a lot of detachment, there's a lot of space. It's clear that the observer of the phone is not in any way connected to the mobile phone. Is that clear? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, so that's clear. So that's how the observer technique works. You see, there's an object and you just check to see that the object is not what you are. Me as the observer is not the mobile phone, that's 100% clear. There's no, no sort of misinterpretation that the mobile phone is me or a part of me. Okay, that's, 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 it. that's just the basics of how it is. So the next thing is um, thoughts. So you know, oh yes, there's something else with the mobile phone. Like, if I move this mobile phone before you so it's passing, are you, are you, you're still not the mobile phone, is that clear? Mm -hmm. So even if I move it, and even if I hide the mobile phone so you can't see it, you're still not the mobile phone. Okay, that, that's important. Not to show. Okay, so the next one is thoughts. You know, thoughts come and go. Uh, sometimes there's lots of thoughts. Sometimes there's a few thoughts. Sometimes there may be no thoughts for a short while. So that which observes the observer of thoughts, that which is observing thoughts, so... Are, th are thoughts you? Is a thought what you are? No, good. No, good. So this has to be a spiritual experience. There has to be a recognition. This is not a mental thing. There has to be an experience inside that. Oh yes, there is something which is observing thoughts. And the observer of thoughts is not thoughts. That has to be like a spiritual awakening, a spiritual experience. Not an intellectual, oh I understand that, that's different. Okay, so once you recognize there is, in the, in the observing of thoughts, the, it's recognized that the observer of thoughts is not thoughts. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's fine. So, you know, thoughts can be here, thoughts can not be here, they can be passing or not passing. They don't affect the observer. The observer's got nothing to do with them. They're just like mobile phones. The next thing is, like, images can come and go like objects. Like you can have a memory of when you're three years old, or you can have a memory of something, you know, when you when you had your dinner last uh, last evening. But that which observes images is that which observes images is that uh, is the observer of images. Is it an image? No, no, good. Because it's just like thoughts, they come and go, they pass, but that which observes an image is not an image. Next one is, um, oh yeah, you can have even, uh, say suddenly, suddenly one becomes aware of fear arising and then passing. Is that which observes fear, is that fear? So you can check. Or, no, good. So it's like an object, it suddenly comes, and there's observing of it here, and then it goes away. But still the observer is here. It's not the cloud of fear that suddenly arises. This is very important. So the observer is not a thought, it's not an image, it's not a feeling. So the other thing is, something is aware of time. You know, some aspect of consciousness is aware of time, seconds, passing, it's like a, an awareness, a consciousness of time. But there's something which observes time. 
there's something which is observing time and is not interested in time. doesn't even want to be aware of or attached to anything to do with time. So the detached, is the detached observer that's not interested in time, is that in time? No, it's not in time. So location, like this mobile phone can be located here. It can be located there. It could be located over here. It could be located. That which observes location, is it located anywhere? Good. So, the observer, that which observes time, that which observes location, that which observes thoughts, that which observes feelings, is beyond. It's not limited to being in time, it's not limited to being a, in a location, it's not limited to being an image that comes and goes, it's not, it's not the thoughts which pass by. So this now, this which is observing everything that comes and goes, is there any experience of limitation or contraction or tightness in that which observes everything that comes and goes? No. Good. So there's freedom here. Excellent. 